So at long last, my TT bike has been built up. You've probably seen sneak peeks before. I did a video on it. I'll have it up there somewhere. On my Instagram, I've been leaking a little bit of what I've been up to. But we've got it all built up. It's all perfect. Got my first race this weekend. It's been a long time since I've done a TT, about a year. And I was on a road bike. So it's going to be interesting. And then my big goal event is next weekend, which is a 25-mile TT for the Uni Champ. So it should be, should be tasty. Uh, but yeah, I'll just flip the camera around and show you the be beast. There's my TT bike. All right, so if you didn't know, the frame is a giant Trinity SL2. I think it's from 2011. It's uh, probably, I'd say, 10 years old now, um, if it is from 2011, but obviously I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, we're gonna start from the front and we're gonna go to the back. So most important thing, obviously, is your position. Now, these are Zip Volker 110 bars. They're very good ones, and I've gone through them before, but obviously they shape up, which is nice, so you can get sort of a classic praying mantis position. But one of the best things about them is that the bars come closer together so you can get a really, really narrow position. So I really rate that. Um, in terms of base bars, they're just integrated. I've got, what, uh, like 60 mm stacks. And then arm pads, very important. Aerolab, really rate them. Um, I should have a link below uh, for Aerolab stuff. I really rate them. And they've also got the angled spaces. So it's basically, as you can see here, that the arm pads aren't flat. They're like up. And that's really important. Uh, because it just makes holding the position so much easier and the way these are high sided so like they're not they're quite high uh, it makes it also really easy to hold your position so I really really recommend to get them if you're feeling it's a bit uncomfortable in the TT position get some angled space if you've got a high position um, from Aerolab and also get the they've got new ones which also have uh, rests on the inside but I find actually I'm narrowing in the bars anyway I'm like right here you can sort of see uh, so yeah, really recommend that stuff. And I got my Wahoo for my power and stuff. I can't see it that well with my position, but it's good enough. Most of it's just on feel. Uh, so frame, integrated brakes, not good. Don't work. I uh, wouldn't buy this bike just because of the integrated brakes, uh, which is an effort. Front wheel, NV78. So this is the 7, so 72 mil deep, which is pretty good. Um, it's relatively stable in crosswinds. It's not great. I'm like 60 kilos, so we do get blown around a lot, but it is what it is. And then in terms of tyre, there's only one choice, Victoria Corsa Speed. Not running it tubeless, it's got a latex inner, it is what it is, I can't really um, be bothered to run it tubeless. And then, quick release, these are carbon tyre, super light ones, but not the best at the moment. I'm going to get some aero ones, which are basically just like, you get an allen key on one side, so they screw in, a little bit neater. As you can see here, it's not, it's not huge that, but it's definitely not super, super aero, so we'll, we'll replace that. Crank set. Trusty Shimano 105 5800 does the job, is what it is, can't fault it. Uh, big old chainring here, 58 tooth chainring from Stone, uh, bought from AliExpress, obviously. Very quick uh, delivery somehow, but also just like, you know, does the job. 58 tooth is what I need. Hopefully I'll be averaging about 46 to 48k an hour, so that's the, that's what I want. Uh, pedals, look Kio, average pedals do the job. Um, then we've got the chain, fastest chain around pretty much, a Shimano Durace. So I've got that, degreased it, as I put in a video before, and then I used my mate who has, who's waxing. Uh, so I've borrowed his little waxing pot and uh, have waxed it in Molten Speed Wax, which is apparently the fastest thing around. Um, and then rear derailleur again, 105, long cage, so I can have a 32 on the back, 5800, Shimano 105. Again, does the job, nothing fancy, is what it is. Um, if we go to the saddle, it's a specialised power. No, I didn't nick it from the shop. It's just the only ones they ever sell are yellow because they're like 20 quid cheaper. So we just get the yellow one. It's good. Uh, the disc wheel is a head jet disc. Um, and it didn't have very much branding. So I decided to get some CC and C logos. I've got an even more outrageous one on the other side, um, which I'll show you. It is huge. Uh, but it's just for the morale and why not? And you can see here, that's my Power Mia, um, a 105 uh, 4i. And then I've got integrated brake, which doesn't really work either. But, you know, who needs brakes and TTs? They're only for slowing you down. And then the cassette is a 32 cassette from ZTTO. And I have managed to get it to work. It's not great, but um, it shifts pretty well, actually. Uh, so it's all good. We can see here, very nice and purple. It looks pretty sick. It's very light and it does the job. It's got a lot of wax droppings on it at the moment, but it's all good. And rear tire as well is the Corsa Speed. Uh, this one has got a grey outline. Looks a bit cooler, but same tire as the front one. Not the not the Graphene 2.01 because that's a bit too expensive. Got these for like 25 quid each, so pretty tasty in my opinion. 
Um, and that's pretty much more or less my whole TT bike. Oh yeah, obviously, rear light, gotta have that for the CTT, tucked up just behind the saddle. Key, key marginal gain that. Can't be having lights mashing around anywhere else. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, crank set 165 millimeters, because it makes the chain ring look bigger. But no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> that's not actually the reason I have it. Uh, the main reason is just because I find like my hip angle is way more comfortable. Um, not as acute, acute hip angles and all the rest of it. Definitely would recommend getting shorter cranks for TT bikes. Because um, my power on my TT bike is really close to my road bike, um, which is good. Um, or about that, actually. It, you might look on my Strava and say it's not. But it's because my left to right balance is 6%. So I've got a left only. So if I'm doing 300 watts on this, then that's like 320 on a road bike. So... It's actually pretty similar and my threshold on the on the road bike is 320 and i reckon this is about 295 so maybe five watts off if you account for the left right balance which i'm pretty happy about oh yeah quick release skewer down here is also the old uh carbon ti but we're gonna get the um adjustable one and yeah that's pretty much it so if you've got any uh got any suggestions on how to make myself more aero or anything else then let me know it felt pretty good this is the first time I, i've ridden it and raced up today just easy cruise around the lanes with my boy and um, yeah, it felt really good. I had the disc on for a little bit of time, but put the 58 on, put the wax chain on and uh, put the MB on today. And wow, we flew. So very good. Very excited for the weekend. Obviously, I'll let you know how I get on. Um, if you want to know more, obviously follow me on Strava. That's where you're going to find all my training and Instagram, probably post some results there. And uh, you'll get a roast on my equipment choices and my position. Oh, and all right, so that's my bike. So I thought I'd just go over what I'm actually going to be wearing. So I've got a Cask Mistral helmet on the top. Uh, after some very comprehensive PowerPoint analysis, I've decided that that was the best helmet and people seem to agree, so that was good. Uh, then number two, my skin suit is a no-pin skin suit. I got it like two years ago. The boys sent it over for me for free. What a legend. Um, so big fan of them. And then my overshoes are also no-pins. Um, the only thing is they're a bit big for me because I'm properly lean now. No, um, I just don't have any calves, so they don't really fit me too well. So I'm going to have to glue them or something to make sure they stay up tomorrow. Uh, and then shoes is just like some specialised five-year-old shoes they just do the job um am i forgetting anything no i think that's it so anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this little video about my tt bike we're gonna we're gonna smash one out tomorrow we'll let you know how it is all the rest of it um and then yeah big one next weekend 25 mile tt gonna be grim as but hopefully we can come away with a little medal and that'll be huge so anyway see you in the next one <laughs>